Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Today we're going to be checking out just how much power these 8 inch energy woofers can handle. Now these are made in Canada and uh, a company that I, I would actually say is rather nice for the price, for the used stuff, and uh, also the new stuff is rather worth it as well. So we're looking at this, it's a stamp frame basket, very small magnet for the size. Uh, polypro <laughs> that's a fun one to say, isn't it? Polypro <laughs> polypropylene woofer and a uh, dust cap that you could almost see through. It's definitely like a vented mesh. The foam on these is gone and making a mess everywhere. Love it. <laughs> Today we're going to be messing about with this free app I have on my cell phone that allows me to fine tune the frequency that's being put through as well as the what do you call that? The wavelength. <laughs> so, an example. Oh, actually, you have to plug it in first. That helps. Now we're gonna start off around 100 hertz. That's where a subwoofer is usually started. Like the frequency usually gets cut off around 100 hertz and up for a subwoofer to avoid the muffling sounds of voices coming through it and all that. So, let's give it a shot. 99 hertz, not bad. Cool. Turn it up. Let's see what happens when I change the wavelength to the square one. <laughs> and there's the, uh, I'm not sure what you call those. <laughs> this one's really sad. Now these get really interesting when you get to the lower frequencies. So, actually, I'm gonna just hit play. Round wave, square wave, and we got these zigzag ones. I'm not sure what you call these guys. The last hard zigzag is pretty fun. Kind of just pops it. Back to smooth. No, three hertz. You don't hear that. Normally you're Whoa, I 10. <laughs> this is fun, right? Now, usually your hearing only works to 30 hertz. So, if we were reproducing sound, this is about where the lowest possible sound would be that you'd hear anyway. Go up. 45. Okay, we're around the frequency of a kick drum here. Getting into the little bit of higher bass. <laughs> There's your 100 hertz. Go up a bit, see how high you hear this. Huh. I stop hearing it right here. 11,000. I forget the number where you're supposed to have your hearing drop off. Definitely you can tell where the frequencies that the driver does do well on. Now, if this was in a cabinet, you'd hear these frequencies a lot better. It's 10 hertz. I guess it's about time to turn up the amp. Turn my phone down a little here. pretty hard. I'm going to turn up the amp a little more. Well, it's jammed. Oh. Locked right up. All right. Wow, that smells like old dusty crap. <laughs> Ooh, and there's foam everywhere. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Wow. 
So it's kind of hard to see, but the coil actually started to unwind in there. The bottom parts of the coil actually got stuck in there, and this is locked right in. Seen a few sparks when I look back at the video too. Pretty cool. I think I came in a little too hot with the amplifier volume last time. <laughs> it actually blew the damn thing before I was able to mess with the app. So there we go. We got two, thankfully. Go a little softer this time and uh, try to kill her slowly and painfully. Fuck! Ah! Oh. Oh, is the camera recording that? Holy frig. I had it up too high again. It totally just flipping. <laughs> uh, holy crap, guys. I had to take a coffee break after that one. <laughs> so you can see the whole coil actually just popped right out of the spider here. Now, I'm not sure if I want to keep it out or uh, try to repair this. I got some super glue here. I thought it would be kind of funny to... Uh, try to fix it <laughs> get her working again just gonna pop it back in really line it back up into the magnet so we're back in action glad I could save this a little bit here's what two Hertz looks like I'm gonna give this a little more power really slowly oh my god cuz uh, you know <laughs> I'm gonna try to mess around with the frequency this is what I wanted to do earlier and totally screwed up. Go a little higher. Three. Oh, yeah, there goes my glue. Four. I'm gonna stop it. <laughs> okay. At least the bounce. There we go. There, I figured it out now. <laughs> oh, this is neat. I can actually see the coil start to melt when this is going on. <laughs> this is a lot of fun, actually. Making absolutely no noise, but it's just bouncing. Oh, I'm seeing smoke. I think it's coming from the tinsel. Oh no, it's the glue. See the glue? Oh man. Oh, geez, that was bright. <laughs> Stop that. Oh, man. Hey, that is a smell. Oh, we got the melting plastic. Uh, oh, my God. So, after a quick tour, shutting off a few smoke detectors around the house, we got, oh, <laughs> we have the first one here that's actually stuck inside the magnet that was kind of fun but not as fun as this guy that popped out and was just doing the trampoline bounce on the uh, spider there well that's about it for these energy 8 inch woofers thanks for watching and i'll be sure to keep an eye out for anything i can blow up in the future <laughs>